on day one, you already made rent. Today is the soft <laughs> opening, soft grand opening of the antique store. We have I see my friends. I see my friends. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I guess I'm just going to be looking for things that catch people's attention. That is the strategy of the day. This is a really pretty crackled glass made in China, but it's super pretty. All right, you guys, look at this thing that is sitting right here in this like hard goods pile. It has like gold trim bunny and squirrel and duck. There is some loss, but this looks definitely like a vintage piece. On the back, it, I don't, I do not recognize this mark at all. There's another like L, S, and S right here, $3.99. I wanna research this more, I'm gonna get it. It is really cool. This is something that would draw people in. Okay, so I'm back here at the booth. Um, I'm going to stick, stick the belts here. So maybe that belt there, and then that belt there, and then the last belt right there. Ta da! Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lily Works, and I have the kids with me. Today is the soft. <laughs> opening soft grand opening of the antique store we have a taco truck today um and so i'm going to show you guys what we have see what's going on get some tacos to the face we have a taco truck here and then the grand opening where we're going to do a ribbon cutting and everything is going to be may 1st so we will see what's going on and get some tacos <laughs> So here, tacos to the face, taco truck. There are some people that have already parked all around here. The antique store is right there on that corner. And you guys might be able to see the lake way right there. There's like a harbor, a lighthouse. If you just go down, right there is a little playground. So this is a pretty good spot to be. All right, you guys, are you ready? Yeah. Ready to go get? Yeah, Gideon! Me too. I don't yeah. Want to go. yeah, yeah. Alright, let's open the door. Okay, go find Nana. I see my friends. I see my friends. <laughs> Are you guys? This was loose in by your bags. So it wasn't. Don't don't fall. Thanks. I bought something from your booth. What what is it? Remember the game you played with me? Go find the thing and tag it. Yeah. Go find the empty spot. Oh boy. <laughs> Actually, well, this she would be it for you because she thought you'd like it. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I, <actually laughs> I know I took so much out of my own house. I actually put something else in its spot. It was oh, like, it was like these what? Now I'm like, what is it? Oh, 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 oh! It's the basket. Okay, yeah. That's nice. It's a basket. It was an Italian painted ceramic basket. Okay. I also have a butt basket if you're interested. I am. <laughs> and and oh, did you? All right, so looks like we have some jewelry here and then some interesting um, pictures. Yep, I just thrifted this one. This is lovely. It's a tapestry and beaded clutch. We have some scarves. Some hats are going up here. Are you going to help me? Oh, the rock. Not too long, Mom. Um... Here are the chairs, the leather tabletop, more pictures. Let's 
let's see, we have teas. Oh, I learned that this is a um, cigar glass humidor, and these can actually be really expensive. Some animal tracks. Gideon's putting his rock in here. And it looks like people have sorted through these bins. Yay. There's Janine. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, here's the books I made. I'm going to look through. Yes, go ahead. I also have turquoise jewelry coming in too. I know that that's your favorite. I know. It is. The Capa de Monte. My fruit vignettes. And the chocolate that I'm going to get for my kids so that they um, can last a little bit longer here. And then over here, excuse me. Over here, I couldn't sleep last night because I remembered I didn't pull the tags off of these pieces. So I'm going to sneak over here and do that. Let's see this one right here. Oh, there's a tag. They have cute little refrigerator with tea. Ooh, tea, water, coffee. Look at how yummy that looks. Okay, let's close it. All right, you can look. We'll get you some chocolate. Ooh, la la. You like it? Yes, I do a lot. It looks like she has some jewelry from my booth too. I do. <laughs> yes. I'm supporting the local Woo! Go sit in the All right, chair so, so the kids can have their roasted almond chocolate bar. The perk of owning this chocolate is I get to just take it. <laughs> so. Is the chocolate so yummy? Yeah, it does taste good. Yeah, it tastes good? It does it. So my friend Janine, I knew she was going to want to get something like that tray because my mom said, like she was like, Sarah, mm -hmm. her daughter, would love that. And we just knew it right away. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Katie asked me to come take pictures of her booth over here. So let's see. Oh, she must have spent some good time putting it together. All right, we're gonna get some tacos. The kids are excited. Gideon, do you want a taco? Yeah, those tacos. Woohoo! Let's see. Yay, tacos! Oh, there's Hi. burrito. How you doing? Do you want a taco? A taco. Are they, are they old enough to have a sucker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All right, you guys. It is the next day. I went up to spruce up my booth, see what empty spots there were, move things around, and I put a few more pieces. I will put them up on the screen. You guys will be able to see um, just pictures of what I had put in. I was planning on putting in more um, just because... Things like this, well, I know this one's all scratched up, so maybe not this, but things like this um, seem to be doing well. Things that are useful, really cute, like more decor type items. Obviously, the jewelry is selling. You guys are here for the jewelry. Yes, the, it is selling. And not only are the individual pieces that are hanging up selling, um, but also the ones that are in the bags that people can dig through the bins. And it's just like a fun little thing like... Maybe I don't want to spend a lot at the antique store, so I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of jewelry, maybe some chocolate, maybe like a little trinket box or trinket dish or something like that. And I feel like that is what sold yesterday. Now, I don't have a lot of experience yet um, with antique store selling. I do mostly eBay selling, as you guys know. And eBay selling I've I'm doing better with like collectibles or one-of-a-kind pieces artisan pieces but I kind of what am right in the sense that when people are antique shopping in a brick-and-mortar store they're kind of like looking for things that speak to them gift ideas um, not necessarily like a highly collectible piece yet I, I shouldn't say that that's not the case I do have like some Royal Hager in there and some other highly collectible 
pieces but it's not pieces that are totally going to stand out to the regular shopper it's it's um pieces that people who know what they're looking for uh know what they're looking for so i actually am here at goodwill right now um right behind me right there so i thought it'd be fun just to like see if we can find anything for the booth uh, to see if we can sell those and I'm really interested to know if I have made rent yet my rent I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys my rent for two spaces is $400 so $200 for each space I combine it $400 so that means I need to make sure that I'm constantly um, sh like putting things in there that can sell so that I can A, make rent, and then B, make profit. Like I wanna be able to make four times rent so, so that I have profit by the end of the month. So let's go in and shop. And yeah, that's the update on the booth so far. Okay, so first things first, I guess I'm just going to be looking for things that catch people's attention. That is the strategy of the day. This is a really pretty crackle glass. Made in China, but it's super pretty. That one is a green tag. What is the color of the day? Let's see, oh, it's orange. Okay, so orange is gonna be half off. I am also still looking for greenery to see if I can put that in the booth anywhere. Let's see, this is a blue glass piece. Um, a lot of you in my last shop with me video were telling me some pieces that I missed so I'm going to try to have a, a better eye this is a big piece oh my gosh and then what is this this is maybe like um, for dessert Let's see this picture here that one has a seam in it, so nothing too important, I don't think. It has marks on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what that, those mean. Let's go with that. Okay, I see some art glass pieces here, which is actually pretty rare. So what does this one say? Tequila Don Juan. I mean, it's really pretty. I might look this up. Let's see if I can get any signal here. Um, $2.99. I'll put it in the cart just to see. But it is pretty. Pretty maybe like recycled glass. Uh, I love this. 99 cents. This is a kind of little piece that someone would love to pick up for maybe like $6. So I'll grab that one. Here's an art glass piece. Um, AJ Wright. Retail at 12 something I think. I'm not sure. I mean, it's pretty. I'll leave that there. Most likely made in China, I'm thinking. A little buffalo planter piece. Ooh, look at these flutes. These are very thin glass. Crate and barrel from Romania, $1.99 each. Those are very dainty. Lovely. Okay. See some milk glass, ruffled glass here. All right, moving on. I mean, the sun is coming through, so it's really pretty. These are all mostly clear glass. What's this? Hmm. All right, boxes. I think I sold a couple boxes yesterday. So let's see. This is pretty. It's broken, I think. Oh, a little jewelry box. That's cute. It has like a little mirror or a picture frame thing. Oh, a fossil box for jewelry or a watch. Feels like boxes inside of boxes. Gardner's Brunch Bench, Anna Krajewski. We have the sewing tin, right? <laughs> A 
we still have this guy here and he's very much broken I know someone said that these could actually go for some decent money um, but I'm gonna leave him because as you can see it's very sad this is a sad piece what is this cutie thing all right let's grab it out Um, it has the ABCs. Ooh, it looks old. All right, Carol Old Wood World Boxes, $3.99. This is so cute. I'm gonna grab this one. Let's see what it says. Family is a circle of love. Yeah, we will grab that one. That would be good for the booth. So you guys, this might be hard to believe, but I actually sold a pink one like this yesterday. This is 99 cents, this is 99 cents. <laughs> I think we'll grab it. Just put it back up, it's the same one, except for mine was a little bit more bubblegum pink. Um, so this is like a little set. <laughs> we'll buy another one and put it back in the spot. That is so funny. So the, this is a paper towel holder, um, and then a toothbrush thing. I see some yuck. In there I might have to clean that but yeah cutie little set uh, like a coral ish color I like this look myself not old newer a little pottery piece down here it says Abbey Ireland hmm 199 this is a cute piece this, I'm gonna put this in and I'll, I'll put this as a maybe. Here's my maybe, it's right there. There is vintage perfume. I will probably want to grab that. That's a fun thing to sell as well. Vintage soaps, vintage perfumes. All right, we are by Easter. Stuff. This is a cool pumpkin, paper mache, little bunny, another bunny plate. Okay, <laughs> this whole vintage uh, situation, we need it. Look at these eggs in this egg planter. This is going in the Easter display. Yay. That will be a Great piece for that display. All right, Christmas. Nothing is catching my eye here. These are maybe cast iron. All right, you guys, look at this thing that is sitting right here in this like hard goods pile. It has like gold trim bunny and squirrel and duck. There is some loss, but this looks definitely like a vintage piece. On the back, it I don't I do not recognize this mark at all. There's another like L S and S right here, $3.99. I want to research this more. I'm gonna get it. It is really cool. This is something that would draw people in. So I'm here in the planters, and this one right here looks this one says Hager USA $1.99. We'll grab that one for sure. It's like a very light lime green make sure it's good yep it is good it's a black oh a black Hagar Woohoo! we have another one that one's very mid-century let's see what else can we find woohoo uh, these look like faux namaji pumpkin wait a second do we have another Hagar right here Italy. This one says Italy. $1.99. Maybe. But look at this. I see lions. I see a bowl with lions on it. Look at that. Okay, what does it say? Recycled glass made in Spain. All right, we'll get that one. All right. Do you guys think I should get this? <laughs> Tell me now. 
What is this one? Croc. I don't know if that's an older one. If it was older and had marks on it, then I would probably get it. Um, let's see. Look at how sweet this is. It's like a little painted, reverse painted glass. I think this would be really cute for Christmas. Only 99 cents. It's like a book. Isn't that so neat? I'm finding it in, in this section. And then this draws my attention. Um, I don't know if it's a print or not, and I have no idea what these symbols say at all. <laughs> but this is an interesting way to open the back of the picture. So you just turn these pieces here and then the back opens. I kind of like that. So I don't know, but I'm drawn to it. So leave that there. Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, little butterfly here. Butterfly art. Yeah, I sold some cross stitch pieces yesterday. Well, a piece. And it was violets. So let's see, this one is duck print by Charles Murray. Mikasa frame right there. Alright, bigger pictures. I don't think I need any other more, I guess I don't need any more big pictures. But, we'll take a peek. A parrot and bird. I think I'm more drawn to pieces that have a really neat frame <laughs> more than anything, to be honest. I love frames. All right, I'll leave that. I'm gonna go over to the smaller pictures over here. I look for copper and metal and enamel on metal. Oh, I would love to find some enamel on metal. We have some chickens. are these okay is this like a set this candle thing but are these do these go with this that's actually super cute these are old and they have that older um, like Mexico or southwestern look to it this would go really good in that vignette it's like a three-piece mirror set right here cute we'll grab those and then what is this Ooh, we have some ceramic flowers and then hooks i don't even know what this is but it's it's sure cute a dollar 99 okay we'll grab it that is cute. See what I mean? Like looking for things where you're like, that is so cute. Yeah. Okay. Also, I've been looking for tiles. So what is this tile? Very primitive. Meg Scott. We will we'll grab that one. <laughs> that one looks so fun. We don't need a chef. No chef tiles. No chef tiles. Um, okay. We have some smalls over here, a small little mirror. Print. What is this? Microwave cool caddy. Fancy Java. What is this? The classic storybook collection. That is so sweet. Ooh, look at these. Don't these frames look awesome? Let me move my card out of the way. Opal House. Yeah, those are so pretty. That's from Target. I love those frames. Single and clean. Looking for a perfect partner. 
see some shelving. Let's see. I like ornate shelving. I like Italian ornate um, shelving with gold. I don't see any of that. Or the Indian wood carving. Oh, we have a little pot that goes on the wall. Let's put that in the little Mexico Native American section. This is wall art, I think. We have a swan. Wall art, I'm thinking. Okay, I see these little guys. So, I think I'll grab this. I've sold several of these Mexican, like, three-dimensional art. Maybe, like, Venezuela or something. $3.99. This one says $19.72. It says Laredo, Mexico. We will grab that one. Super fun. Something that is, like, charming. Someone will say, ooh, I love that. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This is so fun. Totally damaged, but love that look. Ooh, ooh. Let's put that up here. We have some cast iron. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is fantastic. This is $9.99. I don't even care. This is a fantastic piece. Giant cast iron goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> And you know me, you know how I like to squeal loudly while I'm in the store and I'm trying not to, but I love that so much. Ooh, what is this thing up here? Um, it's in another language that I don't know, but it is so pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, our cart is filling up just from one section, you guys. But yeah, it's really hard to like pick through these things and I think that's why there's a lot of stuff here. All right, so we have Fiji. Or no, yeah, Fu Fuji? Fiji? No, Fuji. It's a tapestry. It is $1.99. I like it. It is so pretty. Love that look. Okay. What is this guy? teapot wall art oh look at look at this oh my gosh owls you guys know owls are selling $1.99 for this guy he's so stinking adorable wow we are finding a lot here coffee mug Santa pineapple Moving down. What's this Art Deco looking thing? Nope, that's modern. Okay. We have another tea. Okay, so this one goes with that other one. Where did the other one go? One teapot. Oh, here it is. Two. Should I get these? These are really cute. Aren't they? How much are they? $1.99. They are home interiors and gifts. Hmm. Hmm. Guys. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm out of control right now. I'm. This is my fun time. You guys might be able to tell that I'm actually still sick. Um, but this is fun. Okay. That is property protected. Okay. We have a letter holder. And we have clocks down here. We have that bird clock that makes all the bird noises. So sweet. All right, let's get out of this section and keep moving. 
All right, before we keep moving, I actually just found this really pretty hand-painted tile. Um, no price on it, but it is artist signed right there. Carlos Ortiz, Puerto Vallarta, 2004, Mexico. And it is a big tile. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it because I'm not gonna put this in the booth and I feel like that's something that would split shipping it. Like that is a big tile. So I'm gonna leave that one, but cute. All right, let's move over here. Oh, I sold a tin of buttons. I noticed that that was gone. <gasps> Ooh, hand, oh, look at this. So sad, handcrafted in Turkey and it is broken. Sad, sad. All right. What is this? What is this? An egg coddler or something? Hmm. We have a tin or something. heavy planter does it say anything no but that's pretty neat okay we are in the littles and then look at this look at this piece it is marked it is marked m a h w or something like that uh yeah this is so romantic let's see it might be repaired right here with some white paint but i think i want it it is so gorgeous where can we put it put it right there all right oh we still have this guy this happy guy 4.99 we have a dog that was $11.99. All right, let's 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 focus. Let's stay at one row at a time. Um, okay. Oh, look at this little ghost. A little sad ghost. Oh, little trinket box. $2.99. That's cute. Saw the deer last time. What is this? Um, something. It's fully beaded. Basket of flowers. Here is a little, like, Karen Terrier or something. 99 cents. Ooh. I want to knock down everything. So I think for the whole first... Oh, this is so sweet. Look at how cute. And it opens the whole first part of the Shop With Me video. There was a, a girl, maybe like 14, who was shopping right next to me the entire time. I think it's because she wanted to be in the video. <laughs> and I couldn't move. We have a snail. Um, so I think we're, we're in the clear now. <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? Hello. Hello, coins. So the piece of wood itself is really um, thin. So this must just be like a decorative piece. Little clock. But this is leather. It's wrapped in real leather, it feels like. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Metal flower art. Let's see. Made in China. So, um, uh, Maya, who's the store owner, she basically said, don't bring anything <laughs> that is made in China. Look at this lady. Um, and I, I, you know, I bring stuff in that's made in China, but, you know, collectible or vintage. And <laughs> so I'm like joking around and I'm scrubbing off all the tags that say made in China. Thinking of you. And says poetry. Is this like a little trinket box? Does it open? Oh, I think it opens. See, made in China. This is where I would just scrub off the bottom <laughs> and be like, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but for like anybody who doesn't really know how to set up an antique booth, she basically just says, don't bring in anything that says made in China. And um, just like 
as a rule of thumb for her. Let's see. This is so pretty. Okay, we are gonna get this because someone could totally gift this to somebody. It is so romantic, shabby chic, cottage core loveliness. Trinket box. Yes, yes. All right, put that right there. Okay, more little trinket boxes that are so sweet. Heart, angels. Oh, here's one of those. Asian cats. Ooh, what's this? Grapes. Hmm. What is this? Metal leaf thing. We have butterflies on flowers. Oh, this is such a pretty piece, so delicate. Made in China. <gasps> a duck, <gasps> a duck trinket tray. <gasps> you guys, look at, look at this little trinket dish. Look, there's ducks on the inside. Oh, we love this. It says nature's canvas, something, something. We're gonna get that, that is so, wait a second, why are there so many? Now I'm like, what in the world is happening? What is happening here? <laughs> Why are there so many? All right, I might have to Google Lens those and just like put one in the booth at a time and just have like a backstock. That's so funny. All right, what's this guy? We have Patrick O'Santa. And then we have this guy with, look at his shoes. Look at his shoes. There's his toes. Um, he is handmade in Portugal. Antonio Pasta? Something like that. Alright, I'm going to have to look up some of these because I am not sure about a lot of these, but this guy is super fun. Okay, so I'm in like the metals section and I found this. This looks really old. Um, I'm going to have to Google Lens this. $1.99, but... I'm gonna get that. That looks like hand stamped metal. Maybe like a ladle thing, like with holes. So I think I'm gonna get that. That's actually pretty neat. Let's see if there's anything else here. Maybe we'll find silver, who knows. Um, not sure about these. Well, it says Japan. Let's move on down. Oh, this is so, so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. You can see the brass coming through or the copper but ooh so pretty okay I'm gonna get that that would be so lovely all the filigree yes yes <gasps> metal basket ooh this is cool a dollar 99 yeah I'm gonna get this this is really neat as well I kind of love that all right anything down these might be from nope they say China sometimes the espresso Italy ones have the metal on it like that. This one made in India. Okay. And then I wanted to show you, where is it? I did get like a little creamer set in here. Where did I put it? There it is. And it is so neat. I love handmade pottery right here. Um, it's marked $1.99. This is like the Let's see, is this a chippy? No, it's just glazed in there. Where's the other one? Here we go. Where's the other one? Isn't that neat? So these ones I'm still thinking, okay, so I'm confused now because this glaze is all the way through and this one is not. We feel. I might put these back then. I'm gonna put them right where I found them over here in the pottery. Not get them now because now I'm like really confused about that little piece right there. All right, so here's a Tupperware thing. Should I get this? It's $3.99, old Tupperware. It's like a double thing. I will look this up. All right, so this goes for about $15. I'm not gonna get it. Tupperware is not really my thing. I mean, if it was something like super pretty, <laughs> Then I would be like, oh my gosh, yes, I'll get it. 
like this is so pretty. Look at that detail. Love that. Uh, looks like somebody already tried peeling that off, but really, really lovely little, little cup. Smithsonian. Hmm, what does that mean? <laughs> 99 cents for a little Smithsonian cup. What could you be? It says Lennox Collection, Smithsonian. Hmm, interesting little baby, baby, pretty cup. Okay, so these look like recycled glass right here. Let's see, this one doesn't have a sticker on it, but isn't that pretty? <gasps> I would love drinking out of these thick, $1.99. Oh my gosh, these are so lovely. Let's see, is there a little, eh, these are so pretty. I don't know anything about these. Are they $1.99 each? I'm gonna put these as a maybe. Think about those. Ooh, what are these green and pink down here? Remind me of like depression glass colors. I don't know what they are. <laughs> They're cute. All right, anything down here? Ooh, this looks similar to Fostoria. Maybe it is. That is lovely etching. Oh, so romantic. There was two. I might grab them. They are 99 half off because it is orange. Ooh, let's let's hope we can find the other one. That would be lovely. Alright, so they just brought out this cart and a bunch of people looked through it. So here I am looking at things that I like. Like this and this little Asian ginger jar I like and I like this little blue one here and that blue one there let's see Ooh, and another little blue thing here Ooh, and another brass thing here you're getting all the things I like put those in here Now my finger is stuck. <laughs> okay, we got those. This one, what's this? Ooh, look at this puzzle. Pretty. And then little etched, oh, so pretty. Look at this little etched glass vase, little bud vase, or maybe it's a perfume thing without the stopper, but it is so sweet. Look at that, ooh. Yes! So this guy matches this guy that I got. Little painted ceramic and the felt on the bottom is really old. <clears throat> Alright, what is over here? Noah's Ark. Some cutie boxes. boxes but they're cute okay so I want to show you some of the things that I um, purchased but I didn't show you guys in the store I spent about hundred and sixty five dollars for everything and I'm actually really surprised because I got two big giant boxes and I'm like wow I, used, I did really well um, but then on top of that right as I was finishing paying I saw this little guy it's a purse and it is so stinking adorable just just wait at first i'm like it's a tortilla purse um look oh this is going in a booth i paid 6.99 for this but yeah this is one of those things that someone's gonna be like oh my gosh i need that so paying or like putting on like 20 25 dollars for this like woven floral beautiful Perfect for the springtime purse basket thing. Yay. And it feels like genuine leather details. So there's that. Let me just show you this here, this bag that I absolutely love and I'm keeping for myself. It was $20, so I paid up. But if you guys go shopping in like regular stores like Boot Barn or something, 
this kind of stuff is like 150 bucks. So this is a designer brand. Uh, it feels designer. I've never heard of it, but <clears throat> I mean, I'm not big on designers anyways. So this one is called Tula Ray right here. Tula Ray. And it just has like this cowgirl leather zip up the middle rustic look totally matches my studded freebird ankle boot buckle thing um, boots that I have on right now so cute so this is going to be for me I paid twenty dollars but this is this is what's so great about my job <laughs> is I get really cute things for um, way less than I would spend at a regular store I have this suede and studded belt perfect for the booth this is so cute I'm trying to pick a belt for the booth that like stop people and they're like oh I hope that's my size right so super cute boho belt we have this like men's or women's it's the embossed vintage embossed eagle these always fly out of my store I mean it is distressed people like putting on their southwestern buckles on here the brand is um, chambers right there chambers I paid <clears throat> $2.99 for each of these belts. Last belt here, $2.99. You guys know I love my 90s Y2K belts, and this one is gorgeous. It kind of has a Brighton look to it. So again, this is one of those vintage belts where someone's gonna be like, oh, I hope that's my size. And as we know, belts, um, chain belts, fit a lot of different sizes. So those are some things that um, I might not have shown you, but I also picked up. So planning on trying to stop at the antique store one more time today and putting in a couple more things, maybe the purse and belts. And then, um, yeah, that will be the end of this video. Okay, so I'm back here at the booth. Um, I'm going to stick, oh, stick the belts here. So maybe that belt there. And then that belt there, and then the last belt right there. Ta-da! And then we'll hang up this right there, super cute. And then we'll put the duck trinket box, we'll put that right here. There we go. I'm gonna say bye. Bye. So on day one, you already made rent. Woo! Over 400 sales, girl. Yay! <laughs> All right, so that is that. You guys can see my Costco stuff right behind me. Um, and as you guys know, Goodwill and Costco don't, both of them don't give you bags. So everything is just all over the place in my car and both my husband and I are sick so hopefully he can help <laughs> bring some stuff in but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just um, have been toying with the idea and I might do it but I'm thinking I'm going to be branching off and doing a sister YouTube channel just for like hard goods and antique store stuff because the Lily Works reseller YouTube does a lot of jewelry and then um, you guys are all following for the jewelry as far as the Facebook group goes as far as our district reselling platform so I'm kind of um, wanting to share this journey with you guys and you know feel free to um, follow both channels. I know a lot of YouTubers have multiple channels where they um, have different types of um, things that they present. So someone might have one channel for sourcing and one channel for sales or whatever. So I might do that. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to join this community. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I want to take a moment to 
give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.